Dear viewers, uh, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see in detail about the confocal microscope. Confocal microscope. A uh, confocal microscope is a type of microscope that uses uh, laser light to produce high resolution image of the samples at different depths within the samples. The basic principle of the confocal microscope is that uh, the illumination and detection optics are focused on the same diffraction limited spot. Uh, which is moved over the sample to build the complete image on the detector. Uh, the, uh, the modern confocal microscope has all the possible integration of technology and uh, mechanical components which includes uh, various optical components uh, which perform the primary functions of the configuration by the use of uh, various electronic, de electronic detectors, computer and the laser system. And next to the confocal Microscope are uh, widely used in uh, different fields. It includes biology, medicine, uh, and other material sciences based studies to study the structure and function of the uh, cells, tissues, and molecules at the microscopic level. And currently, among the various confocal microscopes, the laser scanning confocal microscope is the most widely used confocal version for the biomedical research. And next is uh, the, some of the advantages of the confocal microscope over the uh, conventional optical microscopes are the first one is uh, short depth of field is the first advantage and next so the second advantage is elimination of out of focus glare third one is ability to collect optical slices serially from uh, thick specimens and the fourth one is uh, ability to produce high resolution three dimensional images of the samples and the fifth one is it is the maximum the conventional the confocal microscopes are used to visualize uh, multiple different fluorophores with a single samples the next is uh, history of confocal microscope uh, the concept of the confocal microscope was initially developed by Marvin Minsky in the year 1955 at uh, Harvard University and he found this concept with the aim of viewing the neutral or neural network with uh, staining the tissues but it did not uh, bear fruit due to the lack of enough light source and a computerized system to store the large number of data. In next, uh, the works of uh, uh, Marvin Minsky was later adopted by the scientist David Yeager and uh, Mojmer pattern and forming a, a multiple beam confocal microscope in the late of uh, 1960s. Uh, they both used a spinning disc known as uh, NICO, uh, which they used to examine the brain tissues and ganglion cells that were unstained. The technique was later modified and published by uh, Eager forming a mechanical scanning focal laser microscope that was able to visualize image of the cells. And next to the First practical confocal microscope was developed by Marvin Minsky and a team of researchers in the year 1970. The first confocal microscope uses a helium neon laser and a photo multi photo multiplier tube uh, and for the detection and for to detect the uh, fluorescence emitted by the clinical samples. And next, uh, and next the first confocal microscope was developed in 1987 with uh, improved optics and electronics, powerful lasers with uh, high scanning efficiency and the development of uh, solid state lasers and charge coupled devices and the camera uh, led to the widespread adaptation of the confocal microscopy as a research tool. Uh, in the 1990s, the development of multi-photon excitation technique and other advanced imaging techniques further expanded the capabilities of the confocal microscopy. Next is uh, parts of confocal microscope. Uh, this confocal microscope have several parts like uh, objectives lens, uh, laser light source, beam splitter, detectors, stage, Z control, eyepieces, pinhole and photo multiplier tube. The first part is uh, an objective lens. An objective lens is a high resolution lens that is used to collect and focus the light from the samples. The second one is the laser light source. 
And the laser light source is used to, to produce a focused, beam, focused beam of light that is used to, to scan the sample and excite the fluorophores within the samples. It can be chosen via a selection device and is matched with a fluorophores uh, which are used in these pigments. And next, the scanning system is responsible for moving the laser beam over the sample in a razor pattern, uh, which is responsible for producing an image. And it is uh, typically based on galvanometer or acousto-optic modulator. The next part is the beam splitter. The beam splitter separates the excitation from the emitted light in the fluorescence beam, uh, which is the major part of the microscope. And next is uh, detectors. The detectors are used to detect the fluorescence emitted by the samples at different depths and they are uh, typically multiple detectors in a confocal microscope including uh, detectors for different wavelength of the fluorescence and it also have the control and data acquisition system and the control and data acquisition system is uh, responsible for controlling the various components of the confocal microscope and it occurs uh, by storing the data from the detectors. It typically includes a computer and specialized software for controlling the microscope and analyzing the data. And next is uh, stage. The stage is a platform that holds the sample and allows it to be moved in order to the scan the sample. Next is the Z control. The Z control allows the user to focus the laser beam on any focal plane with the specimen. Uh, the monitorized Z step allows us to move around the axial direction in small steps which is uh, approximately uh, greater than uh, 10 nanometer with high precision. And next is eyepiece. The eyepiece are used to, to view the image uh, which are produced by the confocal microscope. And next is the pinhole. The pinhole. The pinhole is a type of uh, adjustable iris and it allows the exclusion of most of the out of focus light from the archived image and thus provides optical se uh, sectioning capacity. The size of the pinhole can be set by using the software on the user's computer. And the final part is the fold, uh, photo multiplier tube or PMT. It is here. Uh, this PMT or photo multiplier tubes converts the photons into an electric signal which is then used by the computer to create an image of the specimen. The next is working principle of the confocal microscope. The confocal microscope uses the uh, laser beam instead of the lights. The laser beams are released from the sources and they are focused on a fluorescent strained samples. And the neutral density filters and a set of uh, scanning mirrors control the, uh, con controls the intensity of the laser light by moving them very precisely and quickly. Uh, one mirror uh, tilts the beam with the X root, the opposite with the Y root, and both together uh, they will tilt the beam in a razor style. And then, and then an object lens focuses onto the samples, and the fluorochrome strained samples will be excited, and then it will emit fluorescence light. This fluorescence light will travel back onto the objective lens through the same path uh, where the laser travels. Uh, the main effect of the scanning mirrors or on the light is to generate a spot of light uh, which is not scanning uh, but uh, standing still. Then a semi-transparent mirror uh, reflects this fluorescent light away from the laser and towards the detection system. And before entering the detection system, uh, the, fluorescent lies, the, the fluorescent light uh, passes through a pinhole and this pinhole allows only a small central portion of the light through the light to the detectors. And the confocal microscope produces a very low intensity light. So the light is amplified by a photo multiplier tube uh, that is the uh, that is in short form it is called as PMT tubes. Uh, these photo multipliers have the ability to amplify a faint signal around 1 million times without introducing a single noise. And after that, the photo multiplier tube releases an electric signal which is then converted into an image by using a computers. A next type of confocal microscopes 
there are nearly uh, 12 types of confocal microbes are available uh, one is single photon confocal microscope two photon confocal microscopes multi photon confocal microscopes laser scanning confocal microscopes fluorescence lifetime imaging microscopes super resolution confocal microscope stimulated emission depletion microscopes hybrid scanning confocal microscopes swept field confocal microscopes programmable array microscopes spinning disk confocal microscopes dual spinning disk confocal microscopes totally uh, 12 types of confocal microscopes are available next is a comparison between the confocal microscopy and the conventional fluorescence microscopy uh, first uh, in confocal microscopy the monochrome monochromatic laser act as a light source uh, and in fluorescence microscopy mercury arc lamp uh, or white light act as a light source uh, two pin holes are present in the confocal microscope uh, but the pin holes are absent in the fluorescence microscope uh, filters are not required for the confocal microscope uh, but the fluorescence microscope requires uh, two types of filters they are emission filters and the excitation filters Uh, in confocal microscopy the specimen is scanned to create an uh, mosaic image uh, but in conventional fluorescence microscopy there is no need for scanning the white field microscopy uh, by the help of the white field microscopy whole specimen is illuminated next the resolution is uh, superior as focused and point source of the light illuminates a tiny bit of tissue at a time in the Uh, confocal microscopy and it also eliminating the background illumination the resolution of the uh, conventional fluorescence microscopy shows a blurring effect due to the background illumination the time requirement for the confocal microscopy is few minutes to hours uh, but for conventional fluorescence microscopy time requirement is hours to days and finally Uh, confocal microscope can be used to examine both live and excised tissues uh, in conventional fluorescence microscopy uh, tissues have to be excised processed fixed and stained before viewing and next is applications of confocal microscope confocal microscope have application in various fields it includes uh, biology and medicine material sciences microelectronics art conservation geology agriculture industrial inspection and 3d optic data and first then in biology and medicine the confocal microscopes are often used to study cells and tissues including their live cells uh, they are commonly used to study the structure and function of the cells and tissues as well as to identify and characterize the specific proteins or other molecules within the cells and it is also used to for the examination of various eye diseases uh, for quantitative analysis and quantification of endothelial cells of the cornea uh, for localizing of uh, filamentary fungal elements in the corneal stroma in case of keratomycosis the second application is in uh, material science field the confocal microscopes are used to to study the structure and properties of various materials which includes polymers ceramics and metals the third application is in microelectronics uh, the confocal microscopes are used to to study the structure and properties of uh, microelectronic devices which includes uh, transistors and integrated circuits the fourth application is in art conservation the confocal microscopes are used to to study the structure and composition of artwork including the painting and sculptures it is also used for the optical scanning and recovery of damaged historical audios and in geology uh, confocal microscopes are uh, used to to study the structure and composition of the geological samples which includes minerals and rocks in agriculture confocal microscopes are used to to study the structure and function of the plants uh, which includes their cells and tissues in industrial inspection Uh, confocal microscopes are used to to inspect the quality and consistency of the industrial products like uh, food pharmaceuticals and consumer goods it also widely used in uh, pharmaceutical industry to control the quality and uniformity of the drug distribution in 3d optical data 
uh, this confocal microscopy is used in uh, storage systems and in overall uh, confocal microscopes are very important for research and scientists who need high resolution images of small samples and the structures next advantages of uh, confocal microscope the first advantage is high spatial resolution the confocal microscopes are able to produce high resolution images of uh, small samples and structures making them ideal for studying cells tissues and other small sample the second advantage is uh, increased depth of the field uh, confocal microscopes use a pinhole to block out of focus light which increases the depth of the field of the image and this allows for a clearer image of samples with varying depths such as tissues the third one is uh, reduced photo bleaching the confocal microscope use a laser to excite the samples which reduces the amount of light needed to produce an image uh, this reduces the photo bleaching of samples which can occur when samples are exposed to high levels of light for extending periods of time the fourth advantage is uh, reduced background noise the pinhole in the confocal microscope blocks out of focus light which reduces the background noise of the image and this allows for the clearer more detailed image of the samples the fifth advantage is uh, live cell imaging uh, confocal microscopes are often used to, to image live cells as they do not produce a lot of heat and do not uh, damage the samples the next advantage is uh, multiplexing capabilities the confocal microscopes can be used to, to study the multiple samples or, or multiple fluorescence labels at a time at the same time and allowing the researchers to study the multiple aspects of the samples simultaneously the next advantage is uh, accuracy uh, because the confocal microscope analyzes the image from one optical point to the next there is no interference from scattering light from other portions of the specimens and it is resulting in a more accurate image and next is uh, the live and dead cells uh, these confocal microscope can be used to, to examine both living and the dead cells and next the confocal microscope can be used to, to collect optical portions in series and the confocal microscope eliminates the focus point consistently and using a factor known as uh, zoom factor uh, this confocal microscopes electronically adjust the magnification without changing the objectives and the confocal microscopes produces 3d picture sets and in overall uh, confocal microscope is a powerful tool for producing high resolution detailed image of the small samples and structures and is widely used in a range of research and industrial applications and finally limitations of confocal microscopes uh, there are nearly five limitations the first one is complexity and the cost the confocal microscopes are more complex and expensive than the other types of microscopes such as uh, light microscopes uh, this can make them difficult for some researchers to access or effort and it is closely uh, it is very closely and costly uh, to create the uv light that confocal microscopes employs and they are also expensive to produce and acquire the second limitation is limited uh, limited penetration depth the confocal microscopes are not able to uh, image very deep within the tissues as the laser beam used to excite the samples cannot penetrate very far into the samples the third one is the low light sensitivity confocal microscopes are less sensitive to low levels of light uh, than the other types of microscopes such as uh, white field microscopes uh, this can make it difficult to image samples with low levels of the fluorescence and the fourth one is uh, sample preparation the confocal microscope require the uh, samples to be labeled with the fluorescent dye or protein which can be time consuming and may alter the samples properties and final limitation it is limited uh, with the limited field of view the confocal microscopes have a small field of view compared to the other types of microscopes which can make it difficult to study large samples of structures dear viewers thank you for your listening and support thank you